tree up a star on the tip top with tinsel and twinkling lights. We put out the stockings, the gifts, and the garland. It sure looks like Christmas inside. You know, the mistletoe is ripe for kissing. Oh, there's only one thing that we're missing. We're calling for snow, and we'll take it in a hurry. Bring the North Pole and tell the elves to scurry. Get Santa to blow as a flake or a flower. Rogers, I'm loving your haircut. Cut it, it's much shorter, right? I love them. Okay, I'll take a pair in the size medium. Thanks. Oh, Quinn, they're exactly what I wanted. Now, if only I had a matching scarf. Amazing. Perfect. Hey, Donna, black boots in the window, size eight. I'll be back in a half an hour. They are gorgeous, and I love your new haircut, by the way. Pink, a 10 in the red, and Tiffany, this one's for me. I shouldn't, right? I shouldn't. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it. You only live once, right? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Merry Christmas. For snow. Ho, ho, ho. Great jacket. Thanks. A good one. Gift wrap for all your personal shopping needs. How can I help you? Diane wants to see you right now. Hey guys, Anna, I heard you want to talk to me. Oh, Gwen, good you're here. Wow, Anna, you are about to pop. And I feel that way. Thank you. Well, don't pop yet. We still got four weeks until Christmas. And on that note, Gwen, I need you to go see Charlie Baker this afternoon. Anna has a doctor's appointment, and he needs someone ASAP. Yeah, of course. And he is our best client, so pay attention. Got it. Are you sure you're okay? It's just these darn Braxton Hicks. Uh, this is his office address. His assistants made an appointment for you at three. Today, three? Three today? Because this is um, downtown and that's in 30 minutes. I know, so don't be late. Okay, yeah, got it. All right, feel better. Thank you. Daisy, come on, Daisy, come on, Daisy, come on, Daisy. Woo! Good girl. Pat, I'm Gwen. I'm Charlie Baker's personal shopper. Well, no, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm not as like official personal shopper. It's official personal shoppers. Anna, who is at a doctor's appointment because she's having this Braxton Hicks thing. Have you had kids? Mm. So anyway, I'm here for her for today. Oh well, Charlie's just wrapping up a conference call. So have a seat, and I'll let you know when he's ready. To Great, see. thank you. For... Whoa, you're a big coffee fan, huh? Not really. Charlie just likes to give me mugs for every occasion. <laughs> I love your nude pumps. Uh, excuse me, Gwen? Yeah? Charlie will see you now. Oh, thanks. It's just up the stairs, first door on your right. Great, thanks. You okay? Oh, yeah. It's just this chair. Wreaks havoc with my back. Well, feel better, Pat. Yes, well, I'll get those figures to you by the end of the day. Yeah. Well, just don't go talking to anybody else. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, I'll make it happen. Bye for now. Positive direction. Excuse me? No, I was just, I was overhearing you and you were like sort of setting the wheels in motion for a positive outcome, you know? <laughs> and you are? <laughs> Sorry, I should have said that first. I'm Gwen Burke, I'm filling in for Anna. Of course, have a seat. Great. Nice office. Did Anna give you a list? She didn't give me a list. I can text her. That's fine. The most important thing I need right now is a new suit. I've got a couple of functions I need to attend to, one of them being a Christmas party. Fun. OK, new suit for the Christmas party. What are you thinking for a tie? I'll just wear this one. Are you serious? That one, you, that's a very out of date tie. I'm not sure who even guided you to wear that today. If it's Anna, please don't tell her I said that, but you really can't wear that to a Christmas party because it's not going with the structure of your suit. Is that most of your collection? I don't really have a collection. We're starting from scratch and I love that. This is not my first rodeo. Had a client last week. We overhauled his whole closet. There we go. What are you doing? I am taking arrangements. My tailor already has them. Yeah, gotcha. <sighs> Just make sure it's either gray or black. All right, nothing fancy. Really? Because it's a Christmas party. You're going to go walking in like a dark cloud. And I just. Do you, do you mind? Whoa, oh, yeah. Thank you. Carl, just hang on a sec. Also, one more thing. I need a Christmas gift for my son's teacher. Can you tell me anything about her? Uh, is she scholarly? Does she like sports? How would I know? Just get her a mug or something. I mean, Pat will give you the details. A mug? I can't sleep with myself at night if I do that. Do you think that your wife could maybe? She's deceased. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's exactly why we're on the phone. I don't want to lowball this thing too hard and lose it. Three minutes ago. Should I? Yes. I realize that. I realize that. I don't think. Well, that's why that email. That's why people invented email. Yeah, and I normally would be like, no, thank you. But he's one of Gift Rap's biggest clients. And if I do a good job, Diane, I'll probably assign him to me when Anna's on maternity leave. Wait, don't you have enough clients? I mean, you're already working seven days a week. I love working. I love my job. What are you talking about? Oh, well, your love life doesn't. Really? Are you really going to do that? You're going to give me a sisterly lecture right now about how I'm going to end up old and alone? Well, you will if you don't dedicate some time to yourself. For dating? Do you know how rough it is out there? When after dad died, you made it your mission to make sure that mom was happy, and you're doing the same thing with your clients. I mean, what about you? Thank you. Thank you for that. You're so sweet. Have you heard from mom? No, I think she's still on the Mediterranean cruise. I mean, and don't change the subject. I'm just saying that you need a little balance. Thank you, Steph. Really appreciate <clears> your <throat> sisterly uh, advice. Are you talking about my diet? Because if I eat one more salad, I swear I'm going to grow roots right into the ground. <laughs> What's wrong with salads? No, uh, nothing. If you're a rabbit. Um, do I look like a rabbit? Go ahead, Gwen. Honestly, yeah. you do. Yeah, I can. I can see it. My friend Sue shaved these two teeth down with a nail file, so you probably just do that. Anyway, I'll let you guys figure that one out. But you'll both be very happy to know that the condo I've been eyeing is going down in price. So I might be out of your hair sooner rather than later. Yay. Bye, Wabbit. <laughs> Go have some fun bunny time. Now it goes self conscious. All right. Miss Henderson, what are you all about? Um, mm. there you are. That was easy. Okay, third grade teacher, been at the school six years, girls volleyball coach, cute picture. <laughs> Head of the school library book drive. Boom. Dad, you think next week we can get our own Christmas tree? Of course, just call my assistant and I'll have one ordered to the house. Well, I mean, we can go and get our own Christmas tree at the cabin like we used to. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm really swamped right now, but I'll tell you what. I want to make sure Pat orders, orders a really good one, OK? An eight-footer, straight to the ceiling, OK? Mr. Baker. Oh, Mr. Baker. Thank you. Your Christmas present was not only thoughtful, but so generous. You, it, it was? Well, of course. I mean, thanks to you, we now no longer have empty shelves in our school library. <laughs> Great. That, so you like the, the books? Liked. I love them, and so will the kids. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm, I'm gonna head. To, I'm gonna head to work. Now, um, I'll see you later on tonight, okay, buddy? Before bed? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Thank you. Oh, Merry Christmas! These are kind of boring, aren't they? That's what Mr. Baker usually buys. Really? I'm gonna fall asleep. Sal, what can you tell me about that suit? <laughs> no, no, no. He never buys stripes. Come on, Sal. We got to think outside the box a little bit here. Don't you think that purple would just bring out the green in his eyes? It would be like, bam. Well, perhaps. But honestly, he is very particular. I'll take it. What? What do you think? Don't you get jealous. Come here. <laughs> No, 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 Excuse please, please. Over here? They're, they're, they're very expensive, Maddox. I'll be with you in a moment. One moment. Knock, knock. I have a surprise for you. I'm so glad you're sitting. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. What do you think? It's purple. Pur this, this is not purple, Charlie Baker. This is a gorgeous yet masculine navy suit with a very delicate purple pinstripe. I thought it was clear. Let's try it on. Arms up. <gasps> what? Can I see your arm for a second? This is way too tight. Did you maybe gain a little weight? Of course not. OK, well, it's OK if you did. You shouldn't feel bad. It's the holidays. It's just. I used the exact measurements that Saul no, had, and unless fine. the measurements are wrong, then it's... you gained weight. Well, if you used the measurements from the store, it's... You gained weight. What's wrong is the suit is wrong. If you just bought what I asked you to buy, we wouldn't have this problem. All right. Well, I'm sorry you don't like it, but it's the holidays. And if I let you go into a Christmas party wearing a black suit, that's about as bad as someone's uncle walking to a wedding in white. I'm Did you buy books for Owen's teacher? I did buy books for Owen's teacher. Did she like them? I got tried to get a whole demographic of... Yes, but that's besides the point. You know a mug would have sufficed, or some flowers. Should we ask your secretary if a mug would have sufficed? I think everyone's a little mugged out. Are you always this difficult? Excuse me? The term personal shopper, in my mind, is describing someone that makes your life Easier, not complicated. I don't think making people happy is complicated. And I think you should know that all of my clients love my personal touch. And my job title is personal shopper. So I'm sorry that doesn't work for you. I would appreciate it if you just did what I asked and left your personal feelings or your touch or whatever it is out of it. Just for the record, I do think the purple would bring out the green in your eyes. Gwen, I need to talk to you. Hi, Diane. <laughs> you know, if this is about Charlie Baker, let's just Actually, say I'm really glad is. that he's not. Mm, really? Anna's been ordered on bed rest until her due date. Oh, man, is she OK? Oh, she's fine. It's just a precaution. But the good news is, with Anna out of commission, it looks like Charlie Baker just became your newest client. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> so great, Diane. So great. It's so great. Oh, he's just so self-centered and he's arrogant. And he doesn't even care what gifts he gives at all. 
Like, if it were up to him, it would just be like, oh, here's a coffee mug, what's your name? Like, I have no tolerance for that. Then why'd you take him on? Because, Steph, he's one of Gift Wrap's biggest clients. Like, it would look horrible if I said no. Hmm. Mm. Speaking of which, he needs a dozen Christmas baskets by tomorrow. Oh, well, I hope you can find enough mugs. <laughs> Hey, Caitlin, is Owen still up? Sorry, Mr. Baker, he went to bed about a half hour ago. <sighs> okay, well, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you have a good night. That can't be right. Yep, it's uh, 456 Elm Street, Suite 315. Yeah, you got it, Nancy. If you could just make sure to have those in by five, that would be amazing. You too, Merry Christmas. You get all those baskets ordered? Almost. Well, if you're not too busy, you should make sure you're home for dinner tonight because Roy invited a friend over and you would finish out the table for the four of us. Sounds good. What? I thought I added that to the cart. You look so pretty. Where are you going? I have an interview today. Really? Yes. Okay, you have to add this. How perfect is this? What are the odds? Hair up. Okay. Hair up. I love what you're wearing, but I feel like it might be chilly in there and you'll just need a little right extra. Yeah. Better? I love that. Let's judge you. Judge you. You're good. I'm late. No. I love you. You're gonna kill it. Stand up straight. Okay, bye. After your meeting with Harry this morning, you have an 11 o'clock call with Mark Bryce and then lunch down at the supper club. Oh, and I received confirmation from Gwen that the last of the gift baskets have been sent out and you've already received 10 thank yous and two dinner invitations. For the, the baskets? That's right. <laughs> Hi. Hey, babe. I didn't think you were back until tomorrow. What if I said I missed you? Well, I don't think I'd believe you. Well, then actually, my last meeting got pushed to next week. Did you get my message about Harry? Uh, about his sentimental attachment to the company? Yes. That's right. He's usually a cranky old Scrooge, but when it comes to that relic of a business, he turns to mush. Use it. Get that price up. Hang, hang on. <clears throat> Charlie Baker. What color black do you want? Sorry? I'm just picking out the suit you wanted, and I need to know what color black to get. Whatever, just... Just black. There's not really just like a just black. I mean, there's midnight, there's ebony, yeah, there's yeah, charcoal, I, d there's... Just hang on. Hi. I'm gonna have to call you back after my meeting with Harry. Okay, make sure you kill it in there. Hi, sorry. <gasps> Bye, babe. Callum in third. Okay, okay, let's go. <sighs> hey, Sal, can you think of like a great purple tie you might have with a pop of black? One on the left. No, 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 no more purple, okay? Midnight, charcoal, black, just, just black, all right? 
I was talking about for the tie. I, we already talked about this. I already have a tie. Okay, let me fill you in. Men with ties are a lot like women with shoes. You seriously cannot have too many. I mean, my friends have staged an intervention because hey, of the listen, amount of I'm, shoes I'm gonna I have, but talk to you later. Bit, you know. Harry, Charlie Baker. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charlie Baker? <laughs> well, what a pleasure. Thank you so much for that outstanding gift basket. 20-year-old McGinty Scotch. How did you know that was my favorite? And the wife has been over the moon with those French macaroons. I'm just uh, happy to... Well, I am in a mood to return some of that goodwill, so let's do business. Great. <laughs> Gentlemen. It went great. I mean, Harry was more than willing to negotiate. I know, can you believe it? Yeah. Yes, well, I insured him, but... Hey, listen, uh, I gotta go. I'll call, I'll call you back. Goodbye. It's black. Mm-hmm. It's midnight black with a hint of navy blue to offset your pale complexion. So now you think I'm overweight and pale. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just trying to bring out your best. Let's try it on. Arms in. Still fitting a little snug, huh? Well, at least the color works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so how did you know that Harry liked McGinty Scotch? Did my research. It was like with Owen's teacher? I firmly believe that every present that someone gets should make them feel really special and appreciated, which is why every present I get for my clients is personal. But you... Charlie Baker, not a big fan of the personal touch. Well, for what it's worth, it really did make the difference. So, thank you. You're welcome. I've gotta get to another meeting. Thank you. I'll just... Celebrating something? Did you get your job? I haven't heard yet. But come on, Roy's friend just got here and we're about ready to sit down for dinner. Who? I'll get you a drink. David, this is my sister, Gwen. Hi there, David. Pleasure to meet you, Gwen. Great to meet you, too. Great oh. shirt. Well, why don't you have a seat? I know you must be hungry oh. from your very, very busy day. Yeah. What is it that you uh, do that keeps you so busy? Oh, I'm a personal shopper. Or stylist, some people say stylist. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. David's a psychiatrist. Really? Psychologist, actually. You're, you're a psychologist? Yeah. Can I ask you a hypothetical question? Sure. Okay, say I knew somebody and they had just suffered a great loss, like their wife died. Do you think that could make that person unbending or a little self-absorbed? Absolutely. This is so helpful for me. You have no idea. Like, I could probably help him get him out of his shell, right? Like, I could help show him that there's more to life than work. I'm like, he should be spending more time with his kid and it's Christmas. Like, Hypothetically. Yeah, hypothetically. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have to meet this person first. Uh, I'm no doctor, but... Hey, Gwen, uh, uh, huh? why don't you come help me pick out the wine? Oh, we actually... Yeah, no, it's right over here. Okay. Yeah. Steph, it's starting to make sense to me now. Why he is the way that he is. I mean, why he's so shut down. What are you doing? What? Grilling a potential date about Charlie, who, if I have to remind you, by the way, made you so angry. Yeah, that's just it. He made me so angry until I understand. And now, I get it. I get it. I mean, who could blame the guy? He's so closed off, but of course he is, you know? Gwen, please don't make him another one of your missions. Okay, I just feel like I can help bring his spirit back. Okay, and what about David? Who? The psychiatrist. Oh, psychiatrist? Guy? Yes. The psychologist. Do you really think that's as good as I can do? Gosh, I mean, he's have a little. Cute. Hey, he's a nice oh, guy. Yeah. He's a oh, nice yeah. guy. 
Pat, I need your help. I have a huge surprise for Charlie, and I need 30 minutes in his office alone. A surprise? Mm -hmm. Charlie's not big on surprises. Trust me, he's gonna love this, and if he says anything, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know what happened. The door was left open, and I don't know. She was out. She must have gone to the bathroom. It'll be totally fine. What do you say? Okay, go. Quick. Really? You get cooler every day. What did the man get mad when he told his company wasn't worth as much as he thought? Because some people don't like to hear the truth. Well, it's better when we tell the truth, because if it's a lie, man, you're in trouble. Exactly. And you remember that. Owen, what are you doing here? No school today? It's bring your child to work day. Wow. Well, isn't this day just full of surprises? Right, Charlie? You bet. Pat, can you get Greg Smith on the phone for me, please? Of course. Right away. Great. Thanks. Oh, boy. Surprise! Wow! You like it? I love it. Who are you? I am Gwen Burke, stylist extraordinaire. High five it. Woo! That's putting it mildly. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. This is the best. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't. I. Well, he must have known that you would really love it. Did you know about this? Well, not really, but it is a nice surprise, isn't it? Check it out. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you Carl. a Merry Christmas. Carl, yeah, listen, I'm... No, it's, it, it's a toy. And a Happy New Year. Yeah, look, I'm just... I'm gonna have to call you back, okay? Yeah. Gwen. Uh, yeah? Would it be possible to see Sal about another suit, considering the last two haven't really worked out? Yeah, of course. But you're just gonna have to go with me. Um, I'm sorry, but isn't the point of having a personal shopper so you don't have to shop? Yes, that's a perk, but your measurements are all off because I just completely flaked and forgot to bring my measuring tape. Okay. Okay, you know what, Pat? Um, we're going to cancel everything for the next hour because I guess somebody has to go shopping. Oh, yes, we have gone up another size. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how these Italian suits fit. They always fit small. Yeah, they're those Italian. They're known for that, right? The... Dad, look, you should check this out. You have to get it. Try it on! <laughs> oh, no. come on! Please, Dad, if you like it, you can wear it at Christmas. I can wear my Christmas sweater. Hear him? Sweater parties are all the rage nowadays. See? Try it on for us. Yes, try it on for us. Please, please, please. 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 All right. <laughs> light it up, please. Light it up. <laughs> oh, light it up. Okay, let me get a picture. Let me get a picture of you and your dad. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. All right, so get in there, bud. One, two, three. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You wear it very well. Thanks. I still think that you should get that sweater. I mean, I have some pull with Sal. Dad, look at Santa! Oh, wow. Can I go and see him? Sorry, Owen, oh, I really got to get back to the office. I could take him. No, I really, I couldn't bother you. And besides, it's bring a kid to work day. I know and I have another meeting to go to. Dad, your meetings are kind of boring. And it's Santa. Yeah, meetings are boring. Let me take him to see Santa. Are you sure you don't mind? Don't mind at all. OK. Thanks, all right, well, I'll see you when I see you then. And uh, put in a good word for me, huh? Go get him. OK. All right, oh, Owen, look. You're next, you're next. Here in case Santa's afraid of reptiles. Ooh, good thinking. OK, tell him how good you were. Okay. Smile. Did you tell Santa your Christmas wish? I did. I was wishing for my dad to go to balcony up at her cabin. That's where we get to spend over the Christmases. Where do you spend your Christmases now? At home. 
it's okay, it's just before my mom died, you spent a whole holidays with me. And I was just too busy. Well, I'm sure Santa's gonna make your Christmas wish come true because that's what he does. You wanna go get some hot chocolate? Yeah! Woo! Me too. Let's go. All right, hold my hand. No, I got you. Ah, I just got you! Miss, miss. I didn't miss. Miss, miss. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Hello. Sorry if I was running a little late. I just picked up a few things on my way out. Oh, it's, it's fine. We got hot chocolate and we got candy canes. Charlie, I'm glad to see you finally took my advice and got Owen a nanny. Oh, Gwen isn't, um... Not a nanny. Oh. Different career. <laughs> yeah. She's my personal shopper. Oh, speaking of which, I actually picked you up something. I think you're really gonna like. I was like, this might be a little too much, but it's this. Okay, that's the wrong bag. Wrong bag. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah, we're corporate professionals, not Vegas entertainers. Have you kept the receipt? I don't, it's not the worst. It's kind of shimmers. Yeah, I think it's great. It's festive, right? It's festive, it's festive. It's festive. I mean, at least you didn't buy me that sweater. It was really bad. You should have seen it. It lit up and it was... Well, we should probably get ready for our dinner reservation. Dinner, I completely forgot. Can Gwen come? Oh, that's really sweet, but I have plans tonight. It was so nice to meet you. Victoria Dane. Victoria, awesome. I had a lot of fun hanging out with you today. Okay, you guys have a, have a great dinner and... Bye, Owen. I know, don't do that. Don't you knock off my peppers. Don't mess with my peppers. I'm the, my, well, I'm the pepper king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Roy is just about to fire up the barbecue for his famous burgers. Mm -hmm. Are you in? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just, I've had such a long day, but I'm gonna go and wine for a little bit. Yeah, I'll see you guys for dinner. I'm cute right now, you know that? Keeping it alive, keeping that spark alive. <laughs> ah. Victoria. Dane. There you are. Victoria Dane, poised to becoming one of the youngest partners at Roth & Holtz with Charlie Baker of Vista Sun Equities. Well, isn't that just cute? Whoop de doo. Hi, you've reached Linda. I'm out of the country, but leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Hi, Mom. It's me, your youngest daughter. I miss you. Um, will you call me when you and Carlos hit dry land? I think you're probably still cruising. Bye. Everyone is eating now, sweetheart. Don't worry, buddy. I'm sure the burger you ordered will be great, okay? Thank you. So, how did your personal shopper end up taking Owen to go see Santa? Uh, I was in a fitting, and then I had to head back to the office, and so she offered. Well, you obviously know her well enough to trust her with your kid. She's awesome. She even decorated Daddy's office for Christmas. Oh, really? She even knows where the best hot chocolate is. And everyone at the stores know her. Because she's so nice. Hmm. Here's your appetizer and a Wagyu burger with wasabi cotton candy foam. Why is everything so foamy? It's called gastromolecular. Hey, listen, I was thinking, what if I made a pitch to Vista Sun? I mean, if you and I were at the same firm, we could move corporate mountains. And we've already talked about becoming partners. And. <coughs> I wonder, are you, are you all right? Are you all right? So 
spicy. I'm sure it's not that bad. Honey, I'm sorry. Look, why don't you play with your lizard or something while Victoria and I finish up, okay? And then we'll get a burger for you on the way back home. My lizard, when is I give it to her and where's going to see Santa? I can't go to sleep without it. Hi, this is so weird. I literally just found um, the lizard. Yeah, well, I, I just heard. Is it going to she have it? Can we go and get it? Would it be possible to come by there and pick up the lizard? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, here, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll just text you my sister's address and then you guys can just come around the back door. Great, well, thank, thank you, we'll, we'll be there shortly. Okay, yeah, see you, see you soon. Can we go, Dad? Your father hasn't even gotten his dinner yet. Actually, you know what, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna get Owen's lizard and get him some real food and... No, no, you know what? It's, it's totally fine. Actually, I think I, I think I saw Clark Bishop back there, and I should, I should be asking him if his equity form is interested in Greenwood. So, I gotta go. Yeah. Gotta go. Thanks, babe. Okay. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I hope we're not disturbing you. Not at all. Come on in. Um, Charlie, this is my brother-in-law, Roy. And this is my sister Stephanie, and this is Owen. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, is that a uh, is that a Duluth suit? Yes. Well, sweet. I'll tell you what's really sweet is that classic park in the driveway. That's my car. Yeah, that's Daisy. Uh, she was our dad's car, and then I adopted her. Are those burgers? Those are burgers. Would you like a burger? Oh no, we we can't stay. Please, Dad. Starving. I didn't even have dinner. That's not true. That's the uh, uh, oh oh he ate Owen oh, ate uh, just a little too spicy. Wasabi and so. Well then yeah. you gotta have a burger. You want one? Why don't you guys stay? We've got enough food, right, Ryan? Right, Steph? Yeah. We yeah. can throw on more burgers. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stay. Here, okay. let me take. Yeah. You. Come on, let's get you a seat. Our mom and dad did not know what to do with her. She was determined to meet Santa Claus. But instead of staying up all night like most kids, Gwen actually wanted to catch him in action. So she actually pulled up a ladder and climbed up onto the top of the roof and spent all night up there. Did you see him? It's really embarrassing, but no, Owen, I fell asleep. Yeah, and thankfully did not fall off the roof. Yeah, but you wanna know the crazy thing? When I woke up, someone had covered me with a red blanket with white snowflakes and green Christmas trees. Santa's blanket? <laughs> I think it was. Wow. Sounds like you were a handful. <laughs> it was, no, I wasn't. I was just determined, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Determined. Yeah, well, don't I know it. <laughs> Hey, Roy, um, why don't you grab the plates and Owen and I will go grab some marshmallows for the fire. Do we all get marshmallows? Or? Uh, yeah, if you clean up the plates. He's very food motivated. Right, Roy? Yeah. <laughs> so you live here with your sister? Yeah, I moved in here just after our mom who married and then sold our family house. But I'm here just until I can save up enough money to buy my own condo. And your, well, well I mean, your, fa your father, is he? Oh, he, he passed away. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, it was a few years ago. We loved him so much, and so for me, my car is like very sentimental, even though she's a pain in the neck and breaks down all the time. What about you? Do you have a big family? Uh, it's just me. Really? I'm, my parents like to spend the winters down south. So during the holidays, it's just Owen and I. Well, that, that's great. He's really lucky to have you. It's free, it's still got really cold out here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's really sweet. Here's your phone. It's in the right pocket. Yeah. Great. 
Look what Stephanie made me. Wow. Marshmallow snowman. <laughs> Look at that. She's nice, huh? Oh, I got one too, Roy, huh? Always. Always. I could get one of your own, just like Roy here. Well, thank you, <laughs> but uh, it's a school night, and it's already past someone's bedtime. Oh, that reminds me. Owen, I was just talking to someone, and he really loves marshmallows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you did talk to him? I did. You Would you like a marshmallow? Cool. No! Well, we, better, we better get going. Um, Here's your coat. Thank you. Thank you for dinner. <laughs> Lovely. We were happy to have you. Oh, Gwen, that reminds me, uh, the Christmas party is coming up. I'll need gifts from some of my colleagues. Yeah, I'm on it. Thanks, and Dan, thanks again. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye, Owen. Bye. Get home safe. Hmm. What? Oh, well, what? I can see why you want to help him. I mean, he's handsome. And you two definitely have a little something. Stop it. No, for real. He's, he's my client that just, he needs a little more encouragement. Besides, he has a girlfriend, so there's that. Well, if that's the case, then you better be careful. Hey, I, you know what? Did you see it? There's like, something. this is, no. He, what? I was almost gonna what? go like, ooh, there's yeah, definitely something. Like, that's I mean, all I need. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Who's it for again? This is for Frank in accounting because he goes caving with his wife every weekend. Ooh, and check this out. This is for Tina and Sales because she's a habitual gum chewer, but isn't this very cute? I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interrupt. Hi. But I thought I should let you know that the office party is about to begin down in the Oyster Lounge. Really? Right now? Okay, I gotta finish wrapping these. Oh, gosh. But, uh. uh Merry Christmas, Pat. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, oh, this, this is wonderful. Really? Oh, I love it. I've been needing a backrest for my chair for the longest time. Thank you. Well, I'm just glad you like it. It's perfect. Okay, well, I better get down to this party. Yeah, well, Gwen, why don't you go? To the party? <laughs> I don't work here. I like, that would be very weird. Well, you are employed by Charlie. Right, Charlie? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, sh you should come. Really? Really, you should come. Because I can't say no to a party. Well, then I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, Twin. Fabulous. The dress really? is perfect. Okay. Gosh, come I need some deodorant. Come. Suit so good, but we need a little something. Cufflinks. Perfect. A little sprig of green. You just can't help yourself, can you? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could turn it off. Charlie! Victoria, I thought you were in a meeting. Got canceled, so I thought I'd come here and help make this party a little more bearable for you. Gwen, mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised to see you. Thought this was an office party. Oh. I thought Gwen should come. I mean, it's uh, Christmas after all, right? The, the, the more the merrier. Of course. Speaking of, I think I'm ready for a glass of Christmas cheer. Shall we? Please. That woman wouldn't know how to be merry if she tried. Stop. All she's interested in is climbing the ladder, and Charlie is just a rock. 
Pat, you don't think she loves him? No, I don't. I think she's more interested in him as a business partner than a life partner. What about him? Oh, she's just part of his process of throwing himself into his work. That's the only reason they're together. Oh, I have to go. I'm on game duty. Okay. All right, everyone. It's time for our favorite Christmas game. Name that carol. Oh, yes. Jingle bells. No. Toyland. No. Joy to the world. No. Up on the housetop. Wow, well, we have a winner. OK, let's hear it. Yeah. Huh? We have to sing some of the song to get it right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I don't know, know it. All right, then. Moving on to the next. Silent night. night. We have a tie. No, I was first. I got a I said it. Let's have a duet. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> these people are actually your colleagues. I better get back to Owen. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go. So I put a little bug in Barry's ear about me coming on at Vista Sun. Might actually get the paperwork done before Christmas. Give us something to celebrate. Are you OK? Oh, hi. Yeah, I just, um, she's a little finicky sometimes. Are you sure? I mean, I can give you a ride or... I'm good, but thank you. She's fine. It just needs a little boost. Magic touch. Should try that tough love sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, uh, you guys have a good night. Hey, listen, I was thinking about those accessories. Um, maybe I could use a pair of cufflinks or... Cufflinks. Great, I'm on it. Get home safe. Bye. You know, I saw some cufflinks at Tiffany's. They were gold, had real diamonds. 
You want me to put in a good word with Santa? I wouldn't want to wear anything that flashy. You're successful, Charlie. You should look it. You know, I saw some other things while I was there. Some, some bracelets and some necklaces and some rings. Just in case this Santa was wondering. We would be a powerhouse, Charlie. You know that, right? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, it's just... Uh -huh. you're, you're allergic to this uh -huh. thing, are you? It's pine. I... Uh -huh. Sorry. You know what? I should, I, I should put you in a cab. Okay, just, just... You know what? You should take something for that, really. It's fine. Any good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do great. Bravo. Good, because I am thinking about uh, bringing back mom's tradition of baking, you know, like she did with us when we were little. Well, you're doing a good job. And I'm really glad that that's going to be you carrying on the tradition, because I do not have a talent for baking. Well, don't worry, because I don't want to bake with you. I want to bake with my little boy or little girl. What are you saying? I'm pregnant. Yeah! <laughs> that is so great. Yeah. This is amazing. Really? Does Roy know? <laughs> of course. I mean, it's like Christmas came early. I mean, he's already tossing names around. But if he thinks that Duke is an option for a little boy, he has another thing coming. your own family. <laughs> and you're gonna need your room back. Oh, don't worry about that. I mean, plus you're eyeing that unit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could always set up a room in the basement and I could use the full-time babysitter stuff. So. You are so funny. I mean, wow, you're trying to kill me? I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is, oh, there's a baby. There's a baby in there. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> I'm your auntie. <laughs> Daddy, you're home! Hey, kiddo. How was your day? Great. Did you know the tree was delivered? Really? It's huge, just like you said. Yeah? Why don't we send Caitlin home and then set it up? And decorate it? Yeah. And decorate it. Where are the decorations? That way. Where? In the garage? <laughs> Give me back the Christmas that I know Hanging up the tree in mistletoe I'll meet you there la, 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 la. Give me back the Utah that I miss Sweep off the dust from old St. Nick He's got the list la, 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 la. All I want for Christmas Okay. Ta-da! They're exactly what I would have picked out. Really? Yeah. Yes! I didn't want to get anything too flashy. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. Yeah, I feel too. How do you do that? What? No, what someone wants. Well, I try, I try to kind of read them. I listen, try to get a sense of who they are as a person. And 
Who am I? Who are you? Charlie Baker. You're a great guy. You let something really horrible happen. And you threw yourself into your work. And I think at the end of the day, you like the simple things in life. But that's just what I'm sensing. I could be totally wrong. Hey, how are the allergies? Better. Listen, I have to go back to Baltimore for that meeting. I thought maybe you could fly down with me for a night. I don't think I can. I mean, it's the holidays. I wouldn't want to leave Owen. This is why I think you should get him a nanny. I mean, you don't feel so guilty about leaving him. That's not it. I don't want to. OK, if you can't make it, then uh, I'll work it. I know. You always manage to work the angles. Sounds great. Look forward to it. All right, I'm going to head out, because you got to get back to work, but I'm glad you like the cufflinks. Actually, there was one more thing I was hoping you could help me with. Yeah. What do you need? A new closet. OK, I know I look very strong, but I'm a terrible carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> that probably was confusing. No, you want me to make over your wardrobe? Yeah. Yes. I'm so good at it. Not to brag, I'm pretty good at, at that. Um, when do you want me to come by? Maybe after work. I'm assuming you're not too busy. No, no, I'm free, depressingly. <laughs> Perfect. Right. OK. I'm going to go. But I'll see, I'll, yeah, I'll see you later. I'm glad you like the coupling. Nice try, nice try. OK, give me one. Give me what you got. Three, seventeen. Go, go, go. Go long, go long. Ooh. Whoa, nice catch. Thank you. Not to brag, but I was a little bit of a tomboy growing up. Why does that not surprise me at all? <laughs> Gwen, can you be on my team? I would, I would love to be on your team. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Baker, you're toast. Baker, you're toast. <laughs> oh, is that oh, right? 79! Potato! Go! Hot! Go! <laughs> oh. <I don't> oh. <laughs> I'm watching you, Baker. <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry. Other than suits, this is all I really have. This is perfect. Thank you. Color. I'm sorry? It's what you need for your closet for the makeover. Maybe like purple pinstripe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll let you get cleaned up. Don't worry, I didn't see anything. OK, you can look now. So what about you? Any Christmas wishes? Not really. Are you wishing for uh, the gaming console or some action figures? What about a, another lizard? Maybe, maybe a real one? Well, there is one thing. What's that? I can walk and ride with you. Did you really wish for that? Well, maybe you should add that to your wish list. So 
I've assessed your closet, and I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> well, thanks. Listen, I should head out, but before I go, Owen, I have a little something for you. Isn't Santa's blanket? It is Santa's blanket. I thought it would be good timing because it's almost Christmas and you can use it when you're waiting up for him, huh? Thank you. Do you like it? Yes. Good. It's yours. All right. I'm gonna head out. But that was really fun, Owen. Thank you. And I'll see you, Charlie. Okay. Wait. I made a Christmas card for you. You did? Did you make the reindeer? Whoa, open it. Merry Christmas, Gwen. This is the greatest Christmas card I've ever gotten. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> you have fun tonight, okay? Sleep good. I'll, um, let me walk your, your car. I'll, I'll get your coat. Thanks. Let me know when you want me to come by and start working on the closet. I can bring some photos and show you a color palette. Or, if you trust me, you could let me start working with what you've got. I think I'll just trust you to work your magic. Really? Well, that's amazing. So, what does a personal shopper wish for for Christmas? Or is the list too long? I can't speak on behalf of all personal shoppers, but what I want for Christmas, you can't buy at a store. Really? No. Nope. All I really want for Christmas is maybe a little snow. And just to sit around and hear some carols. What about you? I haven't wished for anything for Christmas in a really long time. Until now. I just, what about Victoria? I'm gonna go, I, yeah. Good door. Okay, all right, so yeah, I'm gonna, the closet's, it's gonna be great, I'll, yeah. Good in here. <sighs> Hello, Gwen. Victoria. Oh, yeah, I got it all Hi. What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Me? You're here to see me. Can I help you with something? Actually, you can. I'm not sure if you're aware, but it's Charlie's intention to ask me to marry him. And I need to help him pick out a ring for me. Oh. You know, he never mentioned that. Oh, that's probably because he was hoping to do it himself. Although I think it would be better if you were to guide him, don't you think? Anyway, I can send you pictures of rings that I like. From Tiffany's, of course. Simple baguettes. Nothing under two carats. I'm really sorry to dampen your plan, but Charlie's my client, not you. So unless he specifically asked me to shop for a ring, I can't just assume it's what he wants. Trust me, it's what he wants. But I do understand the whole client-employee relationship, which is what you are, an employee of Charlie's. So thank you for listening. All right, I got your favorite, chicken lo mein, and I'm the spicy pork. Dad, why don't we ever go spend Christmas at the cap anymore? I don't know, just haven't been able to get that much time off work. It's Christmas, you shouldn't be working. Hello, is anybody home? 
Victoria, what are, you, what are you doing here? I just came to surprise my two favorite people. What's that? That is three days spent on the beach by the ocean for Christmas. What do you think, Owen? Doesn't that sound like fun? I can't toboggan walk at the beach. No, but you can swim and uh, make sandcastles. I don't want to make sandcastles. I want to make a snowman. Really, Victoria, I appreciate the sentiment, but maybe we should have talked about this first. Oh, but then it wouldn't have been a surprise. Anyway, I'm sure you'd like to spend Christmas on the beach. Why don't we discuss this tomorrow, just the two of us, over dinner? Perfect. I'll have my assistant make us reservations at the loft. Night, Owen. You wanted to see me? Oh, come in, come in. So, what do you think? It's perfect. Owen's going to love it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so, too. And what's great is the salesman said that it can sit three people. Then that's perfect. Yeah, well, I'm going to keep it here, obviously, so I didn't see it. Right, right. <laughs> Is there anything you need from me last minute? You need me to buy, like, um, wine or jewelry for a client or anyone? No, I think we've covered everyone important with baskets and... Oh, there is one thing. Key to my... the house, my house. You know, in case you want to do that closet makeover thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that tonight. You're not going to put a singing Santa in there, are you? That one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you never know with me, right? Always one for surprises. Well, as long as it has your personal touch, I, I'm sure I'll love it. I'm gonna work on the closet. I'll talk to you later. That, okay, because I gotta do this thing. I gotta go to this thing anyway, so. Okay. Oh, the seared octopus with the top knot is supposed to be excellent. I was thinking about the steak. Can we get two orders of the octopus? What color are my eyes? Excuse me? My eyes, what color are they? I don't know, brown? They're hazel. OK, well, they look brown to me. What was Owen wishing for? I mean, for Christmas? Oh, I heard that all the kids are really into this new gaming system, um, the Y-Key 40. Right. That octopus was divine. No wonder Victor Porter eats there all the time. In fact, that would be a great icebreaker for the next time I see him at the supper club. Hold on one second. Uh, Victor Porter grilled octopus, the loft icebreaker. I don't think this is going to work. Well, do you have another angle with him? No, I mean us. I don't think this is going to work. Of course it's going to work. It's going to more than work. Together, we can be Vista Sun's powerhouse. No, that's it. I want to be a powerhouse. I want to be a father. I want to be the kind of father I was before. We can work that out. Victoria, I honestly think this just isn't what you want. You want a guy who can just jet off to whatever meeting you have planned next or Christmas by the beach. I realize this, this just, it's not who I am. I'm not that guy. I think that you're making a really big mistake. But if you won't see the bigger picture, then that's your prerogative.
Gwen? I'm heading home. Can you lock up for the night? Yeah. Hey, Rhonda, where did this list come from? Anna dropped it off. Said she had meant to give you Charlie Baker's last shopping list. Night. Your personal shopper is here. Senator. Mr. Baker, hi. Susan Walker. I've been assigned to be your new stylist. I'm sorry, but Gwen's my stylist. I understand she was your stylist, but she asked to be reassigned. I don't, I don't understand why? She thought you might be a better match with someone else. Do you think Royal liked this shirt? Mm-hmm. Or maybe I should return it and buy him a green one. Yeah, green's good. Gwen. Hmm? Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Because you told me never to buy Roy anything green because it makes him look pasty. Okay, the only way you're ever gonna get over Charlie is with the distraction. So maybe you should go see David. David? The psychologist? You think I'm gonna go see a shrink of my real that bad? No, like on a date or lunch or something. It, it can't hurt, right? <sighs> hey, wait, where did all my Christmas cookies go? I really don't know. Oh, really? I think Roy ate them. <laughs> oh, really? Roy? Mm-hmm. Not he ate them all. Not this cookie monster <laughs> right here. <laughs> Christmas holiday early. Really? Yeah. Are you going to the beach? No. But I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Mom? Gwen! Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry I missed all your calls. My phone's reception up here on the mountain is terrible. I'm... Mountain, I thought that you guys were on a cruise. Uh, we were, and then Carlos had an idea to climb Machu Picchu. No, I I'll tell you all about it later, but uh, while I still have a signal, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You know what, I'm not, Mom. I am so confused. There is something that I want so badly, and I'm not sure if I should go and get it. When? You're always so good at making sure everyone else is happy. I mean, look at me. When your father 
father died. You didn't let me wallow. And you helped me rise above it. It is your gift. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself what makes you happy. And if that thing you want will, will you just go after it? Oh, darling, I need to go. Um, I love you. Merry Christmas, Mom. Merry Christmas, Gwen. Let's go, come on. Gotta do it. You got it? You know what, you were right. It's so much better going out and finding your own tree. Dad, do you think I'll get my wish? You know, to go to bargaining? Well, um, yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, why don't you head downstairs and uh, dig up those old decorations so we can get this thing ready for when Santa comes, huh? Okay. Hi, Gwen. Hi. It's so nice to see you. You too, Pat. Is is Charlie here? Oh, I'm sorry, Gwen. He's already left for the holidays. In fact, he surprised me when he said he was leaving a few days early. Seems like you really rubbed off on him. That's just great, isn't it? Merry Christmas, Pat. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas, Gwen. Vistas on equities. Pat? It's Charlie. I've got a serious emergency. Look, somehow I managed to get Owens to bargain at the office. Is there any way that you could have it sent up here? I'm sorry, Charlie. The couriers won't guarantee Christmas Day delivery on Christmas Eve, and I have a family function. Can't you drive down and get it? No, not without Owen noticing it. And besides, I, I wouldn't be able to get there and back and, and decorate the tree, and Owen will be crushed. Don't worry, Charlie. I'll handle it. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Choo, 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 choo. The twelfth day of Christmas by Chula. Hey, Steffi, it's me. Gwen, where are you? I am just on my way to Pig Bass. What? Why? Okay, Charlie forgot Owen's Christmas present, and so I'm bringing it to them. And before you say anything, I just want you to know that I'm not just doing this for him. I'm doing this because I feel like it's what I need, okay? Gwen, all I was gonna say was good luck. Oh, thanks. Okay, well, um, we're just about to take off to Roy's parents for Christmas, so uh, we'll be back later tonight, uh, but if you're not back in time, Merry Christmas, Gwen. I love you, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Hi to Roy's family. Hey, hon, three second rule? Don't tell my mom. Aw, oh, man. I mean, one job. Four o'clock. What are you doing, Daisy? No. No, 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 not tonight, Daisy. Seriously? What time is your next bus to Big Bass? In about three hours. Three hours? Mm -hmm. You want a ticket? Well, how long is the trip? Oh, uh, well, it's, you got about five stops from here to there, so it's about six hours. Six hours? You took the milk route. OK, I'll take you six hours. Yes, let's do it. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize 
that's how many decorations we had down there. Dad, do you think Santa will come and find us here? Of course. All those years that we were here with your mom, he always knew how to find us. Do you think it will snow? Hey, listen, buddy. Um, I forgot a special gift for you at my office. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know where my head was at. That's okay. I'm sure Santa will find a way to get it here. Yeah, but just in case he's too busy, I don't want you to be too disappointed. I won't. Besides, Santa never disappoints. Yeah. All right, well, let's get you to bed. I'm sure you're going to want to be up bright and early to see what Santa brought you, huh? Bus 34B to Big Bass is ready for boarding. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas, okay? Get home safe. Gwen? You're... You're here. Hi. Yeah, I just... I wanted to make sure Owen had a special Christmas wish. Oh, my, it looks horrible. <laughs> that looks terrible now. The, no, 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 it's it fine, It does, really. the bow was, no, 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 no. it was it, very this, pretty it, before he... It's fine, really, no, I, thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Well, that's why I did it. Okay, so you guys have, you know, this is great, this is beautiful. I'm gonna head out. Um, I like that sweater, actually. Surprisingly, it looks great. Uh, I'm gonna go, but I'll see you. I'll see you later. How? Hmm. What? I mean, how? Your your ride's gone. <laughs> Can I borrow your phone? Cause it's been dead for a long time, and I, it'll be fast. I can even call course, a car service. Of course. No. I, w w why don't you stay? I mean, it's Christmas after all, and you, you came all this way, and. I got something for you. Come on. Okay. It's so cozy in here. Oh. Thanks. Your tree is perfect. Wow. Well done. Here. This. It's for you. Really? Yeah, go ahead. O open it. I love this. It's everything you wish for. Snow and sparkling lights and it even sings a carol. You remembered. I love it. Thank you. Why did you drop me as a client? I didn't know what was happening with you and Victoria. And I didn't want to get in the way. If you were shopping for a ring, I don't think you should be with her, Charlie. I'm sorry if I shouldn't say that. I just don't think that she's right for you. She's cold, and you are so not like that. I... You're right. 
You're right. I am. Yeah. It's what I thought I needed. My work, in Victoria, and then you came along, and... It changed everything. You changed everything. I... I did? Well, I mean, that's my job as a personal shopper. I'm, I come into people's lives, and, and clients of mine, you know, they, yeah, they... Owen, hi! Hey, buddy. Gwen brought you a special gift. See, I told you, set or find a way. <laughs> Come here, you. Your Christmas card. <gasps> Did you make that? It's the three of us. Is that me? Yes. Look outside. Guys, it's snowing. Wow. How beautiful is that? Gosh. Looks like everybody got their wish. They sure did.